so much for agreeing to um, you know, have this afternoon chat with us. I really enjoyed meeting with you a couple months ago. I think it was like after, right before July 4th um, to learn about the sport of skeleton. So I'm really, really uh, thrilled and be telling everybody that I'm gonna be interviewing you, yay! <laughs> So can you first start by telling us a little bit about Jane Channel? For sure. Well, first of all, thank you for having me today. Um, I was, it was so nice to meet you. And I'm so glad we were able to keep in touch. And so, um, like you said, my name is Jane Channel. I'm a Canadian Olympic skeleton athlete. Um, and so for those of you who aren't quite sure what skeleton is, we're the crazy ones um, that slide in that winter ice sliding sport uh, down the giant ice slide head first on a glorified cookie sheet, reaching speeds up to and over 140 kilometers an hour or about 88 miles per hour. How did you become interested in this sport and where do you usually practice? So I had first heard about skeleton uh, back when I was watching the Salt Lake City Olympics with my grandpa, um, skeleton was on TV and a few sleds zipped by the screen. And he turned to me with this look of like utter disgust and said, they're crazy. And so that kind of planted the seed. And then uh, being in the right place at the right time, Vancouver hosted the Olympic Games in 2010. I'm from Vancouver. So having those venues right there in my backyard um, was awesome. And so after I graduated university in the spring of 2011, I moved to Whistler without ever having tried the sport before and said, this is what I'm going to do. <laughs> and so um, I lived in Whistler for two years where I trained and everything. And now I'm actually in Calgary uh, where we do most of our training here in the summertime. And then in the wintertime, um, we're usually out and about around the world at the various tracks competing. What tips do you usually have uh, to help people like maintain that intense focus when you like slide down 88 miles per hour? Yeah, so it's, it's a little bit daunting, that's for sure. And so uh, being able to like visualize all of those runs ahead of time to be able to optimize our time on the track and um, like visualizing not only like the ex external aspects as well, but also those internal ones as well. Like how are you going to feel? Um, what, what feelings are you going to have? Nerves, pressure, butterflies, like just kind of going through all those emotions as well. Um, also journaling, I will journal every night before a race, uh, just to kind of clear my mind and to be able to, uh, enter that race day with a clear, clear mind, clean slate as well. Um, before I slide, I always try and get into that, that flow mindset that, um, to try and tap into that subconscious, um, headspace. And so to be able to do that, uh, I do a lot of breathing exercises so, to be able to, uh, just kind of reconnect and ground myself before hurling myself down this track. <laughs> um, I find that really helps me to be able to, to focus and to be able to be in that moment as best I can be. According to Brene Brown, vulnerability is the birthplace of creativity. So I wonder from your perspective, what role does vulnerability and creativity has in the sport of skeleton? And if so, how? It's definitely a, a tricky question, I think, but it, it opens a whole can of worms. And with, <laughs> with skeleton, <laughs> I know. Uh, <laughs> and so, yeah, with skeleton, it definitely is an art form to be able to glide down the track um, while still accelerating uh, with those fastest lines possible. And so I guess almost the creativity in it comes from like deciding what's the best and fastest line or steer for you down the track. And then as well uh, with, with your sled and with your equipment, choosing the right perfect combination for yourself to be able to achieve those lines, to be able to achieve those fast speeds um, and fast times. And so there is definitely room sorry my cat's right here while yelling at me. it is Twiggy. Yeah. yeah she's right here <laughs> the hell is that? yeah 
sorry. <laughs> um, so there's definitely room um, in, in that sense as well, because it, it is almost like, I talk about skeleton when we slide down the track, it's like a dance. You want to dance with the track. You never want to fight it. And so it's also as well, that vulnerability uh, part of it is overcoming those internal emotions of those panic moments, those panic steers that you want to do, but just letting yourself fly down the track essentially because you're always riding that fine line of being in control and out of control um and so that's i think the the creativity side to it is is born from that vulnerable side of things as well skeleton we're also known to have wildly painted helmets and to have all sorts of designs on our sleds going down the track so that right there is a creativity art form um, in a whole different matter and aspect and so everyone's helmets that are painted uh, really like show the, the person's or the athlete's true colors and however they wanna portray themselves. And so um, it's a super cool thing to be able to, to have that insight into each athlete.